All right, guys, I'm back, and we're talking about uh, the kicking clinic, okay? Actually, we're talking about kind of the, the, the stretching clinic today, okay? So kind of my day job is I'm actually a physical therapist, and then my evening job or night job will be coaching kickers. So this is, you're going to kind of hear the physical, sorry, loud truck going by. Uh, you're going to hear a little bit more of the physical therapist side of me as we talk about flexibility, okay? And so you're going to get a little bit of an anatomy lesson as we go through this. Uh, I hope I, I hope that's okay. Doesn't bother you too too much. But I like you guys to understand as much as uh, humanly possible. So like I said, <clears throat> we're talking about flexibility. And flexibility is, is hugely important for a kicker. I don't think I've ever seen a successful successful kicker who couldn't get a fall through a pass to over the height of his uh, hip. So we've got to be really flexible. It's going to be good uh, to help. It's going to help us generate a lot of power. Okay, think of it kind of the rubber band effect. The further we can stretch the rubber band, the more power it gets, right? And it's going to help prevent us uh, from getting hurt, okay? Prevent you from pulling your hamstring or pulling your groin if that sucker can stretch, okay? <clears throat> so anyway, so I have a list of kind of the six big ones that I like to stretch. Uh, obviously, there's you stretch some other things, but these are kind of the, the six big ones that we're going to go over in the next uh, couple of videos, okay? The calves. The quads, that's a thigh muscle, the uh, hip flexors, which kind of ties into the quads, the groin, uh, hamstrings, and actually your butt. We're going to show you how to stretch all those. But today, we're all about the calves, okay? <clears throat> all about the calves. So, so why are the calves important, okay? That's why we kind of need to understand that first. Uh, I think that helps, okay? So why are the calves important? So if we look at it, uh, kind of look at the anatomy of a calf. I'm gonna draw a picture, okay? So imagine this is the back of a person, okay? So that's the back of the head. Let's say back, back of the head, shoulders, hips. We're gonna come down here. Okay. All right. So we got the back of the head, the shoulders. Uh, that's his torso, his hips, those are his thigh bones, those little jagged things right there, those are his knees, and then those are his lower legs and the feet, okay? So if we look at the calves, the calves are actually made up of two different muscles, okay? One of the muscles kind of comes off the outside, so if this is the outside, it kind of comes up, doesn't come all the way quite up to the knee, but comes about right there, goes all the way down to, uh, and attaches to the, uh, attaches to the Achilles, okay? It ties into the Achilles. So that's one muscle. And then the other muscle actually crosses the knee. It actually goes above the knee. It attaches kind of one on one side, one on the other, all right? And then it ties in down here like that and into the Achilles, okay? So imagine there's that one's underneath that one, okay? So there's actually two muscles. So the important uh, part of this is that it's going to affect two different joints, okay? It's going to affect what happens at our ankle, and then also what happens at our knee. So by stretching the calves, we're going to affect the flexibility of our ankles and the flexibility of our knee. Okay? So, why is this thing so important? We're going to look at both sides because we want to stretch both sides. Okay? So, so this is a, we're going to look at it from the side now. That's a hip. Uh, that's a knee. Come down, that's an ankle. And then we got our foot, okay? So, if our muscles are coming back here like that and they're attaching, what they're going to do is control how far forward that bone right there can move forward, okay? How far forward that bone moves, okay? So if we got real tight calves, that bone is not going to be able to move that far forward, okay? So if we were to try to bend our knee, Yeah, it's just not going to move that far forward, okay? And we need that to move really far forward because in our, our plant foot, okay? So as we're coming in our plant foot, remember, we're, our plant foot is just a temporary base of support so we can move over it, okay? If that calf is tight and it won't let that leg bone move over our foot. Let's see if you can see what I'm talking about here. I'm going to use that brick here in a second to stretch. But So as we plant, if that, tight, if that calf muscle is real tight and I can't move over like that, say it's real tight and I can only come right there, it's going to make it real hard for me to come up in my follow-through. Okay, so we want a real nice 
flexible calf so that our thigh, our lower leg bone can actually translate or move forward over our foot. Okay? Now the other portion of that, so our other our little calf muscle right there that actually comes up and attaches above my knee. It's going to affect my follow through. Okay? So kind of the second portion of this is that it's going to affect my follow through. So if I have a tight muscle, a tight calf muscle, and I'm trying to bring that leg up, right? And I'm trying to bring that leg up into follow through. That's my trunk, right? Trunk, hip, knee. I'm trying to bring it up into a follow through. If this muscle is real tight right here, I'm going to have trouble maintaining my leg lock, okay? My leg's going to want to bend as I come up. Part of that uh, plays with the hamstrings too. We'll get to that. Um, but <clears throat> as far as the calf is concerned, on our follow through leg, if it's real tight, so it will make that knee want to bend and we can't get a good, nice leg lock and follow through, okay? So, with all that being said, how do we stretch these things, okay? So let's, let's pay them back a little bit and we'll uh, show you how to stretch these. Show you how to stretch these bad boys, okay? So the first one, since they do two things, right? We got one, basically we have to stretch one with the knee bent, that's gonna stretch one muscle and then a knee straight is gonna stretch the other muscle, okay? So, get you a step or something like this. This is just a brick I'm using for example. Uh, and we're gonna prop our foot up like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push that knee forward, okay? Just like that. That's gonna stretch that muscle that sits kind of on that outside of your leg right there, okay? You're gonna stretch it forward like that, okay? If you're like me, I kind of like to do it into the wall so I can hold on and really put my weight into it, okay? Just like that. And stretching that muscle right there, okay? The other one is just the same thing, same foot st still up on there, but this time we're gonna keep our knee straight, okay? So, you know, in this example right here, I don't have a wall in front of me. I have to keep my knee straight, and I'm stepping out over it. And that's going to really stretch that calf muscle, okay? So, again, I like to do this one into the wall. Knee nice and straight. Heel stays on the ground, and I'm leaning into the wall where I put all my weight on it, okay? Leaning into the wall. Key here is the heel has to stay on the ground, okay? That's how you stretch both of them, okay? Now the other way, if I like to give you guys a couple options, <clears throat> in case you don't have a wall, you can do it on the ground. All right, you've probably done this stretch a hundred times, just like this, right? Knee straight, that's gonna stretch the one muscle, and then we can do the same position, just bend our knee, just like that. And it's going to stretch the other muscle, okay? That's going to stretch one muscle, and we straighten our knee out and really rock back, and we'll stretch that other muscle, okay? Just like that, okay? Those are kind of the two, kind of the two stretches there. I hope you can see them. I hope you can see them good. All right, so we got two stretches for two different muscles, okay? The bottom line is one, uh, one stretch, your knee's going to be bent, and the other stretch, your knee's going to be straight, okay? So, <clears throat> our rule with all our stretching, you'll hear me repeat it every time, was we're going to perform three to five sets, and we're going to hold the stretch 15 to 30 seconds, okay? So, three to five sets, and you're going to hold the stretch for 15 to 30 seconds, okay? <clears throat> if you can hold the stretch longer, then that's great. You know, I probably wouldn't do more than a minute, uh, but most people don't have patience. I know, like me personally, I don't have patience to go over about 30 seconds, okay? But you need at least 15 seconds uh, to, to get some changes. And you got to do really at least three sets, uh, 15 to 30 seconds, to get some flexibility changes in there, okay? Uh, if you're really, really tight one day, go ahead and do five, okay? There's no problem with that, okay? Now with all these stretches, truth be told, I, when I was kicking, I was just naturally tight, so I ended up having to do them twice a day. I did it before I kicked, 
Okay, so I did like three sets of three sets of about 15 seconds. To be honest with you, kind of a quick stretch before I kicked, <clears throat> and then later in the evening when I had a little bit more time, I could really dedicate like when I'm just watching some kind of sitcom or whatever. I could really dedicate a little bit more time and it's, and and really hit these spots, do closer to maybe four or five sets, holding for about 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, but obviously you don't have to uh, do stretch twice a day uh, if you if you don't need to. But um, but anyway, so today we're all about the calves. Very important for this kind of temporary plant foot that we always talk about. This moving forward over your plant foot, and then also very important for your follow through. Okay, I showed you guys two different stretches uh, in kind of two different positions. One standing up and one kind of laying down. <coughs> We're gonna hold the stretch. Uh, we're gonna do the stretch three to five sets, and we're gonna hold it 15 to 30 seconds. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, check back with me, and we're gonna talk. I'm actually gonna combine the two quads and hip flexors. We're gonna combine those in, in what we call the anterior chain. Okay, but we'll talk about that next time. Uh, again, if you got any questions or comments, uh, post them, and then I'll get back with you. See ya.